Welcome to the Bookmap Crypto Trading Competition here for September 20th to the 22nd. Uh, and uh, you first need to click to join here and then register for the competition. You will then need to log into Bookmap and create a Bookmap account. And then once you log into Bookmap, uh, you will use the download links here to download a Bookmap for Windows here and for Mac here. Uh, you will need the latest version bookmap 7.4 build 18 or higher once you've downloaded bookmap and installed it uh, then let's open it up and run it double click on the desktop icon here this competition is free and open to all now the run options window in bookmap pops up you need to connect to trading mode here i recommend do not load any previous workspaces here. You can record your data and you can also record your live orders here for excellent debriefing features later in bookmap replay mode. Let's click OK. Bookmap pops up and let's go up to connections and configure. Uh, the connectivity configurations window pops up and we're going to add a platform here that is for connecting bookmap to the data. Uh, the bookmap plugins manager pops up. This is bookmap connect layer zero. And you can see all of the installed add-on connector adapters here. We will scroll down to the bottom and we're going to install two for this competition. One is the trading simulator. Now, if you don't see access to install the trading simulator here, you have not updated to bookmap 7.4 build 18. You will need to do so. All right, I just installed it. Now uh, we're going to scroll down here again to the bottom and you may or may not have already installed bookmap data here. If you haven't, click on install and it is ready to use. Uh, let's close the bookmap plugins manager window uh, and now we're going to add a connection. So let's click on add connection. Uh, and then from the platform drop down here, click on it. Uh, and then we're going to scroll down. And you now should see access to the trading simulator here. Let's select it and click OK. All right, now let's go back to connections. And you can see trading simulator here, but we're going to configure the bookmap data. Open up the connectivity configuration. Let's add a connection. Let's click on the drop down. Let's scroll down a little bit and select bookmap data and click OK. Let's go back up to connections. And now let's select trade simulator. And well, let's click on connections again. And we're also going to select bookmap data. Note that no instrument is selected. We need to click on the plus tab here in the upper left corner. So let's click on that. And from the drop down here, we want to select bookmap data. For the type, for the competition, select competition. For the exchange, select multi book. For the symbol, select BTC USDT. That is the symbol used for the competition. In the advanced options, uh, first you can add historical data here. Start with one hour cloud data. And then for tick size, we recommend using one to get more insight. However, if your machine is not very powerful, then click on the drop down and you may need to select 10. For size granularity, select 0.01 and let's click subscribe. You can note that the bookmap BTC USDT symbol has opened here uh, and the data has now populated. Now we need to know how to trade from the bookmap chart for the competition. You will click on this icon here, the padlock. Let's click on it and note that I'm not able to select to turn on or off the trade control panel. What you need to do first is come down to this window here, which is the cross instruments trading window. You may not see this uh, in your book map. Mine did by default. However, let's hide it for now. Now, let's right click in here 
and add a panel, cross instruments trading panel. We, we need to use this feature within Bookmap in order to trade into your simulated trading account. From the drop down here, click on BTC USD for the competition. And that, let's click on start. This is just a confirmation, click OK. Now let's go up to the trade control panel, click on the drop down here, and you can trade from the chart, the dome, or both. I am going to select both. You might want to select this little pin here that will keep this window open here. Now we need to come down and select a size to trade. For this demo, let's select 0.1, and we can start to place orders. To learn how to place orders within Bookmap, let's go to bookmap.com, click on the More button here, and go to the Bookmap Learning Center. Here, go down to the course for getting started learning how to use Bookmap. Click on that. And there are several short videos in here that will instruct you how to use the various features and components within Bookmap. Let's go down to the trading section here and open it up and scroll down. Here you can find a few videos that will cover how to use the trade control panel, place orders, OCO, brackets, etc. within Bookmap. This is the area to go to find out more about how to trade within Bookmap.